Okay, so the little camera doesn't see very much, but um, okay. So how are we going to do this? Well, so let's let's call this S. So this is actually wait, this is a diagram, so it's supposed to be in black. That I can do something about. Except Staples didn't have better overhead markers when I was there. Okay, so how are we going to do it? Remember each clause here, so for each clause, no, sorry, sorry, I got this backwards. For each variable, yeah, yeah, sorry, I, I got this backwards. For each variable, I have a diamond. So I'm going to have another diamond. I'm going to have another, another diamond here, which I'm sure the little camera is not going to be able to see. Okay, for each variable, I have uh, a diamond. So I have four variables, x1 through x4, so I have four diamonds. And then over here, for every clause, I have, I'm going to make this nice and big. So for each uh, clause, I'm going to yeah. For each clause, I'm going to have a vertex over here. So this is clause one. Clause two. Clause three. Now, for in the diamonds, what I'm going to put is, so I have to do this just right. Um, what you're going to have is, Um, so you have to do this, so I'm going to put, so for, so we go this way on the, um, on the, so this is x, x1, this is for x2, this is for x3, this is for x4. If we make x1 true, then we're going to go this way, over to, we're going to put a path in here, we're going to go over to here, and then we're going to go like this, right? So, if x1 is true, then, okay, so if you make a variable true, you do this. You go like this, and then over to here, and then down. So this is true. And then if you make it false, you want it to go like this. So, um, so you, you have to put the path in, in such a way. So basically, you're going to put a little chain of vertices in here. to be directed hand path. Um, I don't... Just, uh, just a second. I have to check that 
my notes again. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, why did I? Um, Okay, um, so I'll just um, so what you want to do is have this so that you can you can go here, but how do you stop it? How do you stop it going back? Oh right, I think okay. Um, Just a second. Okay, I'm gonna. I thought, I've just forgotten one of the details of how this works. So the idea is gonna be you 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 start here. And if you go through, so you're going to connect, if this is, um, if you're going this way, okay, I'm going to, I'm sh I know how it works for directed. So for the moment, I'm going to say it's directed. So the, um, the graph, the edges only have direction. Ah. Okay, so you have to start at S, and my marker died at a really inconvenient time. So if it's directed, this is why blackboards are bad. Okay, if it's directed, then it's easier. And if it's undirected, then you can still do it, but I forget how. If it's directed, you don't actually need these extra vertices because I'm, I can insist that it has to. So obviously, if it's directed, it has to start here and it has to end here. Um, so it's it's directed. Then what you're going to do is, for each of these vertices in the middle, you're going to uh, you're going to allow. So if x1 is true. So you're going to have, say I just put two vertices here. So this, you can go from this vertex, so you can go from this vertex to this vertex, from this vertex to this vertex. You can go also like this. Right. So it's just a chain of vertices, but look, like you can go from one to the next or backwards. So it's like a doubly linked list. But the trick is x1 satisfies clause uh, so actually I'm going to have more of these in here. I'm going to have three of them. But same thing, just paths, so I can go like this. Now, x1 satisfies, if I've set x1 to true, so I'm going this way, then I can go and satisfy clause 1. Okay? So instead of just crossing directly from this side to x to 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 this node, I can say, okay, I'm going to jump over and visit clause one and jump back. Okay. So 
x1 does not satisfy clause 2. Not x1 does, but x1, actually maybe I only needed, maybe I only needed a couple of these things, two of these. Okay. But it does satisfy clause 3, so I'm just going to put, I go from x1 to clause 3 and then back. Actually, okay, so I don't need three vertices, I only need two. Now, x, not x1 satisfies clause 2. So here, so the difference is, if I have, if I have the two vertices and they're like this, and if, the, if x1 satisfies this clause, then I can go, I can go and visit the clause, the clause vertex on my way from left to right. right. So if I decide to go down here and go over, then I can visit clause 1. But if I decide to go down, so maybe there's another clause, so this is clause I, and this is clause J, but if maybe, maybe the negation of X1 or of this variable satisfies, um, satisfies clause J, in which case I connect this like this, such that I can only I can visit clause J on my way from right to left. Okay? So here it would be X1 satisfies clause 1 and clause 3, but not X1 satisfies clause 2. So notice that if I'm going, if I want to go from here to here, and I go down here, and then I go, I can visit clause 1, and I can come back. And then I can go over here. I can't visit clause 2 because the arrows aren't going the right way. And you can make it so that this works even if they, they, they're not arrows, they're just edges. So I can't visit clause 2, but I can visit um, clause 3 and come back. And now I'm here, and now I can go here, and now I can decide whether or not I want to go down to the left and over to the right and down, or if I want to go down to the right and over to the left and down. So for, for x2, I'm going to set x not x2 satisfies clause 1. So it's going to be um, from here. So I'm not going to draw the arrows because you're not going to be able to read them. From uh, x2, for x2, if I go here, I can't visit clause 1 if I'm going left to right, but I can visit clause 2 and come back, and then I can't visit clause 3, so I go over. Whereas if I go from the right to left, I can go down, I can't visit clause 3, but I can, and I can't visit clause 2 because... Um, I'm going the wrong way. The arrows to clause 2, I have to go here and then to clause 2 and back. So, but I can visit clause 1 because the arrows will go from here to clause 1 and back. Okay? You can find this online and presumably you can also find it without the arrows. There is a way to do this for undirected hand path. Um, I've just forgotten that detail right now. Um, so, this is how you build a graph. You can see that if there is a way of satisfying... Now, notice that once I visited clause 1, I can't go back. But that's fine. Once I've picked... Once I've assigned a truth va value to a variable that satisfies clause 1, I don't need to satisfy it twice. These are ORs. So I just need to have either x1 is true or not x2 or x3. So I just have to hit each clause once. So if there is a, a, a truth assignment that satisfies the formula, then there exists a way for me to walk. Uh, so in this case, it would be, say, x1 and x2. It would be like here, go over here, here, 
over here and over, and now I don't care about the rest of them. I can go either any way I want. So, yeah, so I'm going to make, it's, it's basically this. So if you, there's going to be, for each, there's a, there's a, a chain of vertices. So for, in the diamond, there's a chain of vertices going from left to right and from right to left. Because each of them has, each of them, they look like this. So you can go, if you, if you decide to come down to the left first, then you go over to the right, and then you come down. Did somebody say something? Okay, no. Um, there's always, I mean, you, you only actually have to have as many as the, as for each clause the literal appears in, you want to be able to say it goes over to the clause and comes back if it's, if it appears positively or it goes, um, you, you want to have it so that you can hit the clause and come back. So if the, if the variable only appears in one clause, you could actually have it go here, here, or vice versa. Um, you can always make it the, the number of clauses, yeah, minus possibly, it's safe if you make it the number of clauses. I think you can always make it the number of clauses minus one. So if you want, we can take the time to do it because this would be clause one, clause two, clause three. Yeah, in this case, I could do it with two. Why I had three here, that was just me being, um, trying to think on my feet. So yes, you can always do it with number of clauses minus one, except if a variable, if, if a variable doesn't appear in a clause, neither, uh, neither just by itself nor negated, then all it will look like is this. There won't be one of these, one of these, thing, one of these uh, routes to a clause vertex. So that's how you can um, take hampa and reduce 3 sat 3 sat reduces to ham path now okay this is directed ham path um, there is a way to guarantee that uh, because here there's a way to maybe maybe I'm remembering the, the proof to directed ham path but there is a there is a way to do this such that you can't sort of you can't cheat. But I can't remember the details. Oh, right. Explain how to get okay. So yeah. Okay, I won't check that right now. I I know how to do this. So undirected hand path is um So directed hand path is hard, undirected hand path is also hard. Um, but we, I still, I st ah, I'm running out of time. Okay, I still want to get through a bunch of stuff today. So, yes, okay, so we have the link for, for how this works. So now, I want to go to the to uh, an, the other problem we studied right at the beginning of the course. And I'm going to leave this part up here. Um, oh, that's embarrassing. I can't, I can't remember the problem. So I'm going to do three colorability. So how, oh, I shouldn't have erased that graph. But it, okay, whatever. Imagine you have, yeah, okay, I mean, whatever. You have a graph. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, is this graph three colorable? Probably yes. Um, yes, I think so. Okay. You want to be able to say, is it, you want to be able to write 
in I was focusing so much on the, the, the writing stuff in, as formulas that I forgot to study the, the standard proof. Um, I studied it and then I did the formulas. I must have forgotten the details. Okay, how would you write a formula that says this graph is three colorable? Well, you have um, for each vertex you're going to have three variables. So x a blue x a red x a green okay so we're going to say um, first either x a well okay I can reuse this you're going to have a clause that says either x a blue or x a red or x a green you're going to have stuff that says it's not the case that x a blue and x a red and it's not the case that x a blue and x a green and it's not the case that x a red and x a green so you just I'm going to say so uh, so etc so this is saying Every vertex has a color. This is saying every vertex has only one color. Okay, and now you want to say, okay, it is not the case that x, e, red, and x, a, red. And it is not the case that x, e, blue, and x a blue. Okay? Blah, 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 blah. So for each edge, you go through and say, okay, it's not the case that the two endpoints are the same color. Right? So you just have to say, it's not the case that they're both blue, it's not the case that they're both red, it's not the case that they're both green. So this is not that hard, right? I mean, you can. I mean, you can see how to write this graph, write the formula that says this graph is three colorable. So we can reduce, that was a bad place for hempath. Hempath is going to be here. Hempath is here. So hempath reduces to set. And 3 sat reduces the hand path. Now we have 3 colorability reduces to sat. Okay? Um, now we're going to do uh, 3 sat reduces to 3 colorability. And we're going to do it with our, our cute little formula up at the top. Do people understand? This, the fact that given a graph, you can write a formula that's satisfiable if and only in, in polynomial time, you can write a formula that's satisfiable if and only if the graph is, is three colorable. Are people happy with that? Okay. So, I, I mean, this is what I, I, I'm saying about, like, I, I know the proof of, of, of I know the, the, the ham path proof. Yeah, okay, I need to do this again. Um, 
but I was fighting with Zoom and, and Teams, and I was making people call me in Teams because if I check the recording, it looks fine, but then if I check the recording when there's more than one person in there, then it looks bad.